Okay guys, so today we're going to change all the pressure regulating valves, also known as the crankcase valve um, and this um, E60 N62 engine. So first you got to remove the engine covers, um, there are four E30, uh, T4 T30 um, screws or bolts that hold it on, you got to take those out and then take the cover off. And then on the side, you just pop the side up and pull it out on both sides. Just pop the, the sides and just pull it out. Comes out real easy. Here's the pressure regulating valve or CCV. There are two of them. One on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. So what you gotta do is just use a screwdriver and just lift each um, little clip you gotta be careful so you don't break the little nip nipples off and you do the same on the other side um, I pretty much bought the new ones on Amazon but they don't come with the nipples on there there's a little nipple in here it's kind of different from the one I bought so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna use the same covers in because there's a vacuum line that leads there are two vacuum lines on each one so you have to reuse the same caps so I'll take the first one off and let you see it and we'll go from there okay, so I took the first one out um, here it is um, I flipped the diaphragm over um, to check it and there is no rip or tear in it so it's still good but I'm gonna replace it anyway um, you gotta make note that it's important that you keep the original cap because it has a vacuum line on it and it has to have a little nipple on it and you need that nipple there's a hole that goes straight through it but the nipple cannot come off the cap so it's important that you don't break the cap and the little knobs on there. Don't break those when you're trying to get it off because you really need this cap. Here's the new one that I bought. I bought it off Amazon and there's a piece in the front there, the hole, but it doesn't come with a nipple. So um, I can't use this cap because I need to have the vacuum seal. So I'm just going to use the diaphragm and the spring and put it back in there. So when you put it in there you gotta pretty much clean out all the residue in there and it sits in that little rim. You gotta make sure it fits into that little rim and um, it's seated properly before you put the cap back on. And this is all my this is my original cap. It has a little hole on the bottom right there that the vacuum holes gonna go through so it's sucked vacuum there so you gotta make sure you don't break this cap so I'll see in a little bit when I put the new one back in here's the old one that I took out um, there's no rip or tear in it but um, took it out anyway um, here's the new one that I put in you gotta make sure it is seated inside there and um, it's not bulging or anything. Just make sure you put the spring back in, the new spring, and it's seated in the slot properly before you put the cap on. Okay. So I'm going to put the cap back on and then go to the other side. Here's the other side. So it came out, one piece. Here's the one that came out. I flipped the diaphragm over and everything looked good. There's no tear or rip, but I'm going to change it anyway. Here's the new one from Amazon. Once again, um, it has the hole, but it doesn't have the nipple to seal the vacuum. So I'm using the original cap. And yeah, so I'm using my original cap because it has the holes and the vacuum holes on it. And it's important that it hold vacuum. So I'm gonna install it, clean out, change the spring, install it, and make sure um, it's seated properly inside there. Cap back on, that's it. Okay guys, so there's 
the other side is all put back together. So all you need to do is just put the engine cover back on and get ready to go.